Jason, what's going on? Looking at three bucks that Brad just spotted. I'm gonna put the big lines on them, take a look, but uh, I'm, I was thinking I'd hold out for a real brute, but if he's solid, I think I'm gonna probably pull the trigger if we can get close enough. Um, we had a little rain this morning, so I'm just a little concerned of everything is shifting and losing my opportunity. Got a little time, but not not a hell of a lot of time. So if I see a solid buck, I'm probably going to take it. Man, pretty much exactly what I'd hoped it would be. There's a fair number of deer. No mosquitoes, although there are a lot of gnats that bite through circle my face right now. And been able to fill a lot of tags so far. So, what, five tags in about 36 hours? I feel like all we're doing is shooting deer, cutting up deer, packing gear, sleeping. And then we're doing the same thing every day. It's a lot, I love it, man. I just love Alaska. It's such a special place and Kodiak is such an incredible island. It's just really wild. It's just a really, really interesting place because you can see the ocean. You've got these big mountains all around you. And then it's kind of like lush vegetation. Yeah, it's just unlike anywhere else. Tom Hughes. What's happening this morning? You look very comfortable. It's a comfy chair. Yeah. Boots. These boots were, have been the right choice every moment if you didn't need hiking boots. The Alaska sneakers. Yeah, I yeah. like it. It's a good choice. It's a good choice. How we sleep? Not good, because it's hot all night. Yeah. It's, it's pretty warm in the evening here. Yeah. Surprisingly, it's not not the weather I thought we'd get. Last tag left, Jason. You're done. We're four out of six. Five out of six. Five out of six, sir. Yeah. Five out of six done. Go we'll search up a buck today. One of the things I love about this place is that. Just new blueberries, we got wild raspberries all over the place. Look right here. Those. Look at that, that's a good one right there. Just kind of like eat fruit everywhere. All over the place. Those are really good. Just eat everything on this island. Berries and deer. It's just all berries. Berries, and deer. deer, and bears. Yeah. Bears. That's it. Looking at three bucks that Brad just spotted. I'm going to put the big lines on them.
Oh my god. Stop, 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 stop. Jason like, shot this buck in like the, or that's just how it works. probably the no, it's it's also, it's also nice worst spot of the trip. This is, uh, I don't know if you can tell how steep and kind of grassy and slick this is, but it's steep and grassy and slick. Not a big buck, but uh, I'm very pleased. That's a pretty little horn. So horn. Cute little guy. This whole thing has very little to do with uh, pulling the trigger on the rifle. That's just not. That's just not the point. It's uh. It's the where we're sitting now. It's just the. It's the whole thing. It's it's everything. But yeah, the uh, if you just want to shoot guns, you probably this isn't it. You better be interested in like airplanes, boats, interesting Alaskan people, like all of the things that are out here, like this crazy prehistoric feeling country, grass that's six feet tall for some reason, like just the strangest ground. None of us still understand how this ground is formed. Prehistoric feeling. Also, the overwhelming feeling that you are not in charge out here. The bears, there is no cell phone service. There is nothing. I'm gonna cut straight through here towards that little... That little yeah, might as well. There. Maybe that'll get us over the depression and... Straight down to the lake. That's the end of our Kodiak hunting and fishing trip. We're all tagged out, so we're just waiting for our man, Willie Fulton, uh, to come pick us up. If you are thinking about hunting in Kodiak, uh, highly recommend you give Willie a call at Kodiak Air Service. He's a good dude, a great pilot, and just has a lot of knowledge. So give him a shout if you're in the market. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel uh, because we got lots of fun adventures planned in the near future. So thanks for watching. So before you were a pilot, uh, what'd you do before then? Ah, uh, a lot of different things. I, I ran a string of mules and, and took people hunting and fishing, you know, and spend uh, summer and fall uh, back deep in the wilderness back in Wyoming. 
and uh, done a lot of different things. Ran, uh, used to run snow cats at the ski hill, uh, ran rivers, uh, flew down in Idaho. When I got into flying, I started flying down in Idaho, and then I've flown in Idaho, Nevada, uh, Utah, Colorado, Wyoming, South Dakota, kind of all over. And then I came to Alaska with a fair bit of experience, you know, good flying experience, and then I just wanted to come up there and fly floats, you know. That's what I've been doing ever since. There's a lot of other parts of Alaska I'd really like to explore, you know. Um, I've got wheel gear and stuff for this. I could go fly up in the Brooks Range for a summer or something, you know. Um, I could see leaving here just to explore some more. I mean, if you look on a map of Alaska, Alaska's right here in Kodiak's this little tiny speck at the very, you know, southern end of the main body of Alaska. And then you look at how big Kodiak is, you walk around a little bit, you realize how big Alaska is. Did you ever leave Alaska? No. Especially not this year. No. <laughs> uh, now we're going fishing because the hunting went so well. We have too much time. So Willie is continuing to help us out, Preston. So now we're going fishing. Yeah. More fish. We got like two days and we can't fly out of here, so we're yeah, gonna go can't out fly out a little uh, try and catch some silvers in the ocean. Yeah. Uh, how long have you been flying? Uh, this is my third day now, but it's going real well, and I feel real uh, <laughs> feel real positive. We got you guys out of there in one piece, you know, and so that's good. That's good. Um, huh? I found that place in a little guidebook, you know, that was uh, in Walmart.